What's up Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we are doing episodes 21, 22, and 22.5. Very, very excited, especially now. We ended last episode with a declaration. We're both going to get stronger. Come winter, we're going to have our new style of basketball. We're going to dominate. And this episode is called Let's Get Started. Training arc, new styles, new characters, development, whatever it may be. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. Hopefully you guys are as well and are excited. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, if you guys want early access full length up to four episodes or one week, check out that Patreon. All links are down below in the description like always. Let's hop right on into this. Episode 21. Let's get started. Oh, okay, they couldn't decide. Hell yeah, change of scenery, some great practice, some great moments. I'm down. Yeah, it is a temporary thing. Oh yeah, they're getting stronger individually, so they don't have to rely on each other, so they can have their own, you know, I like that. Let's do it. So we don't have the budget necessarily. Okay, explain how. Kagami's gonna eat too damn much. She'll be cooking. Oh no. I just assume it's bad by the way he's saying that. Oh yeah, she had the lemons. Oh my god. Yeah, that was not that was a red flag right there. Flag on the play. That's not <laughs> Reminds me of a uh, Shion from Reincarnated as a Slime. Ooh, a menu tasting. Ooh. Don't make that cute kawaii face. I I think it's supposed it's supposed to be a little more diced up than that. Those are whole vegetables. I know it really sounded like she was cutting. I like how everyone made an abysmal face except Kuroko, who's just emotionless the whole time. That sounds horrible. Ah, damn. It's a massacre of flavor. Yeah, give me any training, any amount of exercise before I gotta eat that. Oh, all the bandages from her working so hard. You can't make her feel bad, come on. She's the lovely coach, Rico, who's been with us from the very beginning. Shouts out Junpei. They play the intense, dramatic piano. He cleaned his damn plate. He's gonna run and, like, throw up or something. He's just gonna run and chug some water. He, is com he was completely correct in that. That's a good way to say it, too. You're on the right path. Great intentions. I know. You guys are such men. <laughs> my man couldn't make it five steps. Oh, my God. Ooh, look at these guys. Look at Kagami stir frying it away. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got the, we got the student teaching the master. It's already a drastic improvement visually, at least. There are just some people who just can't cook. Maybe this is not for... Oh. That no shit. Protein and vitamin C powder you're putting way in my curry? <laughs> They're so used to the bad. They're like, it's normal. <laughs> oh, wait. I've heard of sand volleyball. We've got sand basketball. Okay. If we improve individually and then we prove our teamwork as a whole in cooperation later on, we'll be. Woo. That's what I'm saying. It's not all individual, but it's we also need the individual training as well. Okay, Miss Beautiful Coach. Yes, ma'am. 
Let's do it. You can train me any day of the week, Miss Rico. I'll be there. No questions, no hesitation for me. Look at number two, so cute. Yep, gonna be hard to like stop on a on a dime, stuff like that. Oh, I guess that necessarily there are most definitely basketball plays like that with a quick passes to be able. That's so oh, you definitely cannot jump as far either. This is some great cardio, some great actual exercise. Three times normal practice on the beach. And then ever since you're on the beach, now you're back. You're like, whoa, this is 10 times easier. Kind of like Dragon Ball Z training in a more times the Earth gravity. So then when you go back to normal gravity, you're like, whoa, I feel light. Why Rico's the GOAT coach. Oh, yeah, give her the credit she deserves. いますまだ手がかり一つつかめてません。リコのやってることは正しいよ。今の練習で全員の基本スペックは確実に上がる。それは選手一人一人が自分の役割を知ること。スタイルの確率と言ってもいい。それは自分のことを知ってからだ。That
負けた予選の時より勝った今回の方が手ごわかった。冬は心の。I like the acknowledgement. Shouts out to the Shutoku coach. Oh god, does that ice look lovely? Ice baths? I'm alive. I've always wanted to take an ice bath, but I've always been nervous as well. And you only really need to do it when you have extreme muscle fatigue, you know? So I wouldn't really never need to. Has he not, like, tried to really jump since? I mean, he's only has been running straight the last few days. He's been exhausted, you know? Oh, Takayo's gonna see it too. Oh my god. <laughs> Man's gonna be able to hit the rim with his head. Really? Which one are you supposed to jump off? If you're your dominant one, your dominant leg? Yeah, he is dominant as his right. Look at that. My man can jump. Like, I think he's hitting his head on the rim. That's how, that's how why he's jumping. He hit the hoop so hard that it fell over. I know it's one of those just weighted bottom hoops, but I used to have one of those. Those things would be super hard to knock over. Aerial combat. My man is going to be a dog fighter. He's going to be fighting in the air. That is exactly what he was thinking. Okay. What's the other half? Ooh, don't just call him out like that. I agree. We need to elevate. We need to elevate. I kind of did. I won't lie. Wow, he's already five down. Midorima is nice. He only knows, so it's it's clearly just something that Midorima knows that he doesn't know. You know, it's half the equation, but I'm so curious what that is, how we're going to develop it, work on it. The valid point. The valid point. I am so looking forward to these winter preliminaries, it's not even funny. Which gives him his max height jumps, you know? I know that is a huge issue for a lot of basketball players, limiting to your, only your dominant hand, you know? You can only drive either to the right or drive to the left, you know? So I get it. Imagine him in the air just doing whatever and be insane. I mean, it has been like jabs, but Midorima has been giving them subtle advice throughout these last couple of days. One can, who plays by him, you know, who cannot play by himself, cannot strengthen by himself. What kind of... Okay. Okay, self drive. And I think that's why Midorima is kind of giving him those jab advices because he wants a challenge. He wants to improve himself. He wants to know he's the best. Everybody has self improvement. I love that little shot we had of Izuki on a beach. Like everyone, every side. Okay. 
That's not. Come on. Why? Really? Okay. Kaijo and Toho? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting this. Stop trying to roast him. That's so funny. I love when he does that. He wants them to be the best that they can be so he can know he's better. Like, I I, I genuinely respect that. Shouts out Midorima. Oh my lord. Two GOMs besides our own. I mean, there's a reason Almine is the ace, you know. I love that. Kise is nice. It's it remind me so much of Oikawa. All right, let's do it, Mr. Clean Shaven. Don't tell me Amine is not coming. I agree. Is he going to show up? Yes, he is. This is going to be a real ass game. Kisei in the squad. Kisei Kasamatsu in the squad. Versus Imayoshi Amine in their squad. He's true about that because he knows Kisei is not going to get disheartened. He's know Kisei is going to give it his all. Kisei is going to be somewhat of a challenge. Okay. Okay. Kasamatsu with the little mini backstory, heart, heartwarming. Like, let's do this, my man. I got faith in you. Oh, the title of this episode. <laughs> I'm way too hyped about this game, and we're not even playing in it. Listen to the soundtrack with the guitar. So dope. All right, well, that's why I am so glad I am watching one more. And I hope 22.5 is this one, because I really need to watch it. Okay, on to the last episode of the session, 22.5. This one is called Tip Off. All right, Mr. Mr. Model Man Kisei, chill out. Oh, so this is before this is pure model, no basketball Kisei. They did say he was the latest to join the basketball, like the GOM. Okay, so we're getting a Kisei specific episode. I'm very down. Oh, I love flashbacks at Takeo Middle School as well. Even though all the people here look like they should be 17. This is middle school. So he's gonna be humbled real quick, I think, coming in here. Oh yeah. I think he's gonna be humbled. Look at that face. Within the first five seconds. As this middle schooler hangs from the rim. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Uroko was Kisei's... Mentor? I was about to say, I bet you he's standing right next to them. They just don't even know. He's right in front of him. Jesus. I love that. Hello. Levi. Why does he keep looking like that? Looks like he's literally controlling the players like robots. Oh my God. Look at how elegantly that man blocked that. I love his hair color and his eye color. Like it's nothing. Smooth like butter. Ooh. 
Issei is also looking real nice out there. And then he's going to see his mentor straight up miss the shot. So he's going to be confused. That's my mentor. He has yet to understand Kuroko's strengths. And I love that. Whoa. Whoa, the whole squad is out here waiting for Kise. Except for Levi's character. Hell yeah. Who doesn't like a good popsicle? The 7 Eleven popsicle? Ice pop? Come on. Oh, they made him buy the. <laughs> the <they're... laughs> oh, wow. What do you get? Like another free popsicle? What? What? what is... Because you guys are boys now. Come on. I was not expecting this guy's voice to be like this. I won't lie. Maybe I was just expecting deeper because he's so tall, but he's so like sloth like like he's so lazy i like him uh, he's not actually lazy he just looks like that here's momoe oh hell no shouts out kisei and aomine no hesitation there's no way my man just hit a three point popsicle <laughs> shot. There's no way. I'm so butthurt that Mitarimba just did that. I'm so butthurt. Yeah, oh, I've actually had those before. I thought those were popsicles, but I've actually had those before. They're kind of like chips, you know, except like as a singular like potato crisp kind of thing. My yummy sticks, man, that guy. Purse snatcher and he made him throw the yummy sticks. Okay, I need to write his name down. It's the only reason I paused it. I've never had his name. So, and it is a long as hell name Murasaki Bara. Murasaki Bara. Of course, that dude's a regular. That dude's eight feet tall. And he doesn't even, he's not even going to think of Kuroko. My man's just naturally athletic. Look at him. Oh my God. Talk about a goal, even though he, see, he is kind of lazy. He just, okay, he just looks like that, but he is. Akachin. Which we are not seeing him hang out with the squad, Akachin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, you did. He's gonna say I despise him. He's so pestilent, something like that. I don't know. Akashi, that's the Levi character. He seems to be the big man around campus, you know, and he never hangs out with the squad. I want to know more about him. Okay, I didn't know he was an Aquarius. <laughs> I need a girl like Momoi. Oh, Akashi. Come talk to me, please. I just want to hear Levi's voice. He's so observant. Every single time I see him, he's watching deeply. So now he's truly going to question why he's a regular and why he's his mentor, you know? You just don't get it. Once you get it, you'll get it. Once you once you know, you know. A hundred battles, a hundred victories. It's actually kind of a fire phrase. True. その戦闘の一軍レギュラーが一番弱そうってどうよ。この試合もし俺ら二人出ることになったらどっちが点多く取れるか勝負しねえすか。I mean that's not going to be a competition. You're going to outscore me. そのユニフォームください。嫌ですけどもしチームが負けたらその勝負はどうなるんですか。体ではないですが。教育係になった以上。Okay, let him in on the deeds. 
Similar to what Kiyoshi said a couple episodes ago, your role, you know? Yes, I agree. He's taking it a little too far, but he has time to learn. He's very new, you know, to this whole team based experience. Alright, let's see it. Man steps on the court. Yeah, that is a good question. God damn, I know. Okay, break free. Oh, Lord. He drew the charge. <laughs> yep. Little do they know. Little do they know. Like, what do you mean by that? You will see. Wait like 10 seconds, my friend. <laughs> I love the way they did that. Literally blink. You know? Wait, wait. He was right there. The ball was just right there. Where? How? It's right here now. Wait. Oh, oh, oh wait. Wait, what? I love this man. He makes me... Kuroko's the kind of person that makes me feel cool being with support, whether I'm playing like Overwatch or League or something. I'll support you and I'll be swag doing it. I'll be going all out. He's like, okay, maybe this kid's got some. Meanwhile, what are they playing? Shogi? Akashi? He's literally with the chess master. This man over here is moving his pieces. I need to know more about this guy. They're making him like a fucking... Oh, wow, we won that. They're making him like an enigma. It's kind of like the whole what I was talking about playing support. Like, the role itself necessarily might not be the most fun compared to others. But thinking about the dub, thinking about how you support your team, other aspects, like, you know... Bro. Your desire for, for victory. And then to see how this is how it started for Kisei to where we're at right now. Him going against Almine. I'm so butthurt I can't watch this next episode, man. Well, another 0.5 episode in the books. Another OVA. And I the last one was a flashback as well. A tech, okay. 13.5, great side episode about just fun slice of life stuff with our characters. 22.5, great flashback in the Kisei, how he, how he was introduced to the squad and developed into the Kisei we know today. And then the next one, 41.5, also a great flashback about Aumine. So these 0.5 episodes, I am loving them so far. I am, first off, okay, we'll start with the first episode. We're training, physical conditioning. We're going to the beach spot. I love the beach basketball. I love seeing Takeo and Midorima there. Midorima giving advice, but because he's so confident in himself, he wants to know he's the best. So he's like, I, I could totally see someone like Bakugo, who's another person I could compare to like Midorima, who's so confident in himself. Bakugo would totally give uh, Todoroki or Deku advice to get stronger just so he could beat them. Know full well that he's the best there is. And I love that about them, you know? So it's like, oh, and then the training and then how high Kagami could jump and then how it was only one half of it and the aerial combat. Give us like 30 more episodes. This man's going to be doing mid-air jumping jacks. Like, it's going to be crazy. Uh, and then we have the inter highs. I hope we can watch the finals as well. I think they said we're, what, quarters or semifinals? And it's Toho uh, versus Kaiju, Kaijo, whatever. And I am very very excited Kisei and Aumine especially because of how much Kisei looks up to some of these players and how good he is naturally and he's never beaten Aumine oh my god that flashback was so good as well I need to see more of Muraki Mura Sakibara his name I'm sorry it's just so long and I need to see a lot more of Akashi as well I am oh so excited 
Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon early access full length up to four episodes full uncut. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.